welcome to this session we are going to learn in this session creating the ec2 and it is for the virtual machine and it is it will work at same as in your hardware device locally so how to create ec2 let's go so basically ec2 is part of the compute and you can click here and also you can search ec2 okay so this is the ec2 dashboard here you can see the details about ec2 the number of instances running uh, load balancer security group key pairs key pairs is default created with the users and this is the health details so service is a service status uh, currently in us based to these three are availability zone for us okay so let's launch an instant okay so to start instance launching instance you have to give the uh, image and you can give some uh, image predefined image where you can use it and also you can use the press image also so this is the list of images for different purpose for windows linux and your servers okay <coughs> so we we are going to choose the uh, ami so ami means amazon machine image so this is the free tier image but uh, all required uh, configuration in this image so you can see the it supported image aws supported image default machine command line tool python ruby Perl, and java already included docker also installed that php mysql postgres and other required program are already installed so this is a really very good image so we are going to select this one okay here you need to give the instance type so we are give the general purpose family and free tire eligible t2 micro t2 micro it's instance type you can uh, see the different types of instance uh, based on the configuration requirement and you can see the fees of what instance taking so there you can go through the amazon side and you will get the all details for this instance is cpu is one memory one gig elastic block storage only uh, storage type is only elastic block storage and there could be the different for ssd purpose also so you can use that as per your requirement optimization and network performance low to moderate and ipv6 support okay let's go for next configuration okay this is really important configuration where you have to understand uh, the networking uh, how many instances you want to launch at a time so we are giving the one and uh, this is the purchasing options so you have to you will give the purchasing option but we are not going to as it is on demand instance so no need it okay so important thing is the vpc so in which vpc you are going to create so when you create new account there is created one default vpc so here one vpc is already created you can create new one we are selecting the default one okay then submit uh, submit is uh, represented the one subject represented the one our is one you can choose any of this one or you can choose default any of any ability zone assigning ip uh, it is required if you need your public access for your uh, instance so you can enable it and imagine automatically assign public ip on your instance if you don't want public ip then you should disable this one as of now we are enabling i am role so you can assign i am role and you can also create from here uh, as present we are not giving I am role shut down behavior is stop or terminate whatever you want to give and uh, if you want to give the terminate protection so then you should not um, able to the terminate your instance if you enable this one uh, as present we are not configuring this monitoring uh, if you want to monitor for your instance behavior then you should enable for 
cloud watch and cloud watch is different component where you need to configure give the configuration different kind of monitoring performance like uh, cpu memory utilization else okay so now we are creating the new as per storage so default we are giving the storage uh, as per the uh, default configuration here is the root volume and this is device volume snapshot size is 8 gig volume type general purpose ssd g2 and rest are default one let's move okay maybe so you can give the tag here so my first okay here is uh, is it to name let's give the my first is it to. okay this is again uh, important thing security group here you want uh, default configuration or you want to create a new one so this is a new security group here you just see that uh, ssh uh, tcb port is 22 are allowed for this particular instance you can add more rules from here also and you can use the predefined protocols networking protocols for your requirement so as present ssl is enabled for this one okay let's create and let's launch our okay this is the review configuration whatever you give so this is the emi instance type data micro security group so we have created new one instance detail you can see this is the details you can verify storage and tag let's launch this one okay when you create a new instance it will ask which key you want to use for your SSS connectivity so you should choose your key or you can create even also so let's I, well, uh, I have already key so I'm just excusing the from existing one launch instance here you can see it will take some time and uh, it will execute all required things to launch instance here you can see your instance detail in uh, instance tab these are the basic details here the instance ID automatically is uh, assigned. Instance type availability zone US base two. Status is pending. It's going to deploy. Its process is running on. And this is the public DNA DNS IP four. This is public IP assigned to our instance. Key monitoring details, launch time, and security group. You can see the details as description here for more details. Here you can see IP, DNS, security group, AMID, IAM rule. It's give the all details which are required here. You can see here. Uh, first status check. Once instance is deployed, it will show status here. You can also configure for a different kind of configuration here. Whatever you want to based on the requirement. So it will create the new uh, SNS so SNS we will cover in SNS topic okay uh, this is monitoring here you can see the monitor of your instance CPU utilization disk read disk read operations disk write operation so this is the all monitoring information and tag which you have given so guys uh, our instance is running and this is our instance detail okay and from here you can change your status you can stop you can reboot or you can terminate okay uh, this is a session for creating instance for and different configuration uh, required for the instance uh, we are going to learn the uh, uh, other configuration related to uh, uh, EC2 in the coming lecture. Uh, thank you for watching this video.